Welcome to this discussion on baclofen toxicity. Let's start with the basics. What exactly is baclofen? Baclofen is a medication primarily used to treat muscle spasticity, a condition causing muscle stiffness and tightness. It works by affecting neurotransmitters in the nervous system that control muscle activity. While highly effective at therapeutic doses, exceeding those doses can lead to serious complications. So it's a double-edged sword, effective treatment, but with a significant risk if misused. What are some of the key symptoms of baclofen toxicity that people should be aware of? Symptoms can range from mild drowsiness and dizziness to much more severe issues like coma, respiratory depression, and seizures. Muscle weakness, confusion, and autonomic dysfunction affecting involuntary bodily functions like heart rate and breathing are also possible. The speed at which these symptoms escalate is a major concern. That sounds incredibly serious. How does this toxicity actually occur? Is it simply a matter of taking too much? While exceeding the recommended dosage is a primary cause, it's not the only factor. At therapeutic doses, baclofen primarily acts on the spinal cord. However, overdose extends its effects to the brain, causing central nervous system depression. Paradoxically, this can even trigger seizures. The maximum recommended daily dose is crucial to remember, 80 milligrams for adults and 60 for children over eight. So it's not just about the total amount, but also where the drug acts within the nervous system. How is baclofen toxicity diagnosed and treated? Diagnosis involves a thorough patient history, symptom evaluation, and ruling out other potential causes. While blood tests can confirm baclofen levels, they aren't routinely available. Treatment is primarily supportive care, monitoring vital signs, respiratory support if needed, intravenous fluids. Benzodiazepines may be used for seizures, activated charcoal to limit absorption, and in severe cases, hemodialysis. Supportive care is key, and it sounds like a multi-pronged approach is often necessary. What are some potential long-term complications that can arise from baclofen toxicity? The prognosis depends on the severity of the overdose. With prompt treatment, full recovery is common. However, severe cases can lead to anoxic brain injury from oxygen deprivation, aspiration ammonia, pressure ulcers from immobility, rhabdomyolysis, a breakdown of muscle tissue, and hypothermia. Those are some very serious potential consequences. How can baclofen toxicity be prevented in the first place? Prevention is key. Taking baclofen exactly as prescribed is paramount. It's important to understand that toxicity can occur even with doses as low as 100 milligrams. Patients with kidney impairment are at higher risk and require close monitoring. Safe storage, proper use, and avoiding alcohol or other central nervous system depressants are also crucial. Patient education is vital. So it's the combination of careful prescribing, patient education, and awareness of risk factors. What's the overall takeaway regarding baclofen toxicity? Baclofen toxicity is a serious, potentially fatal condition demanding immediate medical attention. Healthcare professionals must be vigilant in recognizing symptoms and providing timely, appropriate care. Adhering to prescribing guidelines and educating patients about safe medication practices are essential for minimizing the risk of overdose. That was a great discussion. Thank you for sharing your expertise and providing such clear and informative answers. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section.